Matt is asking, do you have an Intune setting to add custom local admin to the device's admin group? Uh, please, not the URL, uh, OMA, uh, OMA URI, uh, because this has an issue according to Microsoft. Um, so yeah, if you want to manage um, local administrative groups in Intune today, I am generally recommending just using the endpoint uh, security node. If you want to share my screen, Johan, I can show that real quick. Yeah, I'm trying to find the window. Where we... <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see here. There we go. That's what happens when you get all these windows open and remoting into 100 yep. different devices. Um, ask me how I know about your pain. <laughs> so in the Intune Admin Center, under Endpoint Security Node, and then Account Protection, uh, under here you can see that I have a couple of policies uh, that are of type local user group membership right here. Uh, this is also where you can configure laps in Intune as well. Uh, so that's as simple as when you create a policy here, you select uh, Windows 10 and later, and then you select local user group membership. So what you'll see when I go, let's take a look at uh, one of the ones that I have configured already, um, adding users to the local administrator group. And let's take a look at the settings. Here you can see that I have uh, the administrators group selected because that's the one we want to modify. You have the ability to add uh, and update, remove and update, or add and replace groups and users. Um, very similar to what you will see in group policy. Um, and then we can select users and groups. Here with this selection, we're able to choose uh, different users or groups that are in Entra. Uh, you can see here, for some reason, I thought it was a great idea to make Darth Vader a local admin uh, on some devices. I might have to rethink that one, but um, this UI is as simple as selecting a, a user, like Boba Fett, for example, uh, or a group, as I mentioned. And so you can do a group of administrators as well and update or add them as a local admin. Now, if you need to uh, add an on-prem Active Directory user, you can change this dropdown to Manual. And you can see here, once I click Add Users, I have a UI where I can set uh, the username, domain and username, or the SID of a user. Uh, so these days, this is primarily what I'm using when I need to uh, adjust this. Um, the UI is much simpler than using the restricted groups, uh, custom settings, uh, custom CSPs. Uh, uh, I'm going to take I'm going to take something simple <laughs> in this case. So that's what I would recommend. All right, good stuff uh, there. Yes. Mm -hmm.